Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, new episode of uh, 3 Minutes to the Get It. This week we're gonna hunt the zombies. To hunt zombies on our systems because we won't hunt actual zombies. I'll let you do that in your free time. For now, we're gonna hunt zombies on Unix systems. And on Unix systems, zombies are related to processes. So we need to understand how processes are working. Uh, when I type a command, a new process is created. For example, if I type the ls command from my bash, from my shell, it creates a new ls process. And there's the new ls process that is the child of the shell process the shell process is called the parent of the ls process so in each unix systems we have for each process a parent uh, there's one exception it's the very first one the very first one is created during the system boot and it's called init on most linux systems it's called a systemd but systemd is the program uh, itself the generic name is init so i have my parent i have my child when the child is running it's running in its own memory space it's doing what it has to do in its uh, memory and uh, that's it there's in another part of the system a list of running processes uh, the, the list of all the processes that are using some memory in this list we have the processes number x had been created by processes number y there's the list of the uh, parenting i would say in this list of processes you can see it uh, for example if you type uh, ps dash ef you will see the PID, the process ID, and the PPID, the parent process ID. For each process, we can see the number of its parent. When the child is running, at one point it arrives to an end, so it stops. When it stops, it does two things. First thing, it will send a message to its parent saying, I'm finished. Second thing, it freed the memory he was using, so another process can use that memory uh, this time. There is an operation that the system is waiting from, its, uh, from the parent, and it waits the parent to answer back saying, OK, I've seen that you finished. That's very important because if the parent doesn't answer back, we have the process the child who is finished, finished running, there's no memory used by that process, but it still appears in the list of processes. It appears in a special state, a special state because it's not running, it's not sleeping, it's already dead, but still in the list because it's waiting for its parent to answer back. This state is the zombie state. That's why you can't kill a zombie, because a zombie is already dead. There's no memory used by the zombie. There's only a line in the process list that is used. But if I want to kill this zombie, I can't. But if I want to make it disappear, what can I do? Well, we have to understand why the parent doesn't answer back. Maybe it crashed. If it crashed, it's in a frozen state, I would say. I can kill him. If I kill the parent, then the child will send again the message to the init process, the very first one. And the init process is built to answer back. So my zombie disappears. Maybe I have suspended the parent. Well, if I make it run again, it will answer back to its child and the zombie will disappear. But in any case, a zombie only says to me uh, a process doesn't answer back to his child. That's it. There's no memory consumption. There's no CPU load. It doesn't... doesn't I don't care. I don't care about zombies on the system. Uh, except if I have a lot, a lot of processes running and a lot of zombies. And the zombies are uh, using uh, PID numbers and I... I'm taking the risk to have no more PID numbers available. You need to have a lot, a lot, a lot of processes to be in this case. That's the only case where I say, OK, we need to make those zombies disappear. In other case, I really don't care. 
So that's it for this uh, three minutes to get it. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, if you did, uh, please uh, say it in the comment below. Uh, I want to have some feedback from you. Uh, if you like the video, you can subscribe, hit the bell button, and I make a new video each Thursday. So see you next Thursday for another video. Bye.